welcome to our Sunday lesson. Learn and enjoy. Be blessed. Let us bow down for the word of prayer. Lord, we thank for you this day because we are a part of God. We thank for all of that. Lord, we thank you for your being by our side through all the many Lord. Lord, we pray that this service will go on. Lord, we are praying in your name. Lord, we thank you for you who have put your shield over us to to protect us from COVID nineteen. Lord, Lord, please help us find a cure for it, and that is in your name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Thank you for the gift of life and as continue with this lesson, please may you bless us. Protect us from this body and chain of God. May you heal those people who have been to the mighty name of Jesus. That's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, uh, today's topic is uh, our strength and health comes from the Lord. I am your teacher today. I am teacher Catherine, and for us to have um, to understand the topic, we will be going through the story of David and Goliath. We shall uh, we shall find that in First Samuel, chapter seventeen, the whole of chapter seventeen, and um, the Philistines and and the Israelites were fighting, and they were they they went into battle, and the Philistines were in one side of the mountain. And the Israelites were in another side of the mountain. And so in the Philistines army, there was this huge man called Goliath. He was so huge. The Bible says that Goliath he was nearly three meters. Three meters is, 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 is a tall person. And the Bible says that his helmet alone that was made of bronze weighed 57 kilograms. And his legs and his whole body really was made of a bronze armor. And so he challenged the Israelites and he told them that whoever, if they win, the Israelites will become the, the, the slaves to the Philistines. And he told them that if the Israelites won, the, the Philistines will become their slaves. And, and so Goliath challenge them and because of his big body and the way he looked strong the Israelites were really afraid of him and so this are back and forth went on for 40 days Israelites retrieving back and just being terrified of going on to fight Goliath but one day a man called Jesse whose two sons were in the Israelites army called his youngest son David. David who was a shepherd and he used to take care of Jesse's sheep. He told him, your brothers and, and, and King Saul, they, are, they have gone to battle and they have stayed there for long. So I want you to take this, these grains and these loaves of bread and this cheese you take to them. And so David set out to take whatever his father had sent him to the, to the Israelite soldiers. And when he got there, he, he looked at the situation and he asked, what has the king promised to the person who will win the battle? And uh, he was told that the king, King Saul, had promised a big reward to the man who kills him. But his brothers told him that he, he, he should go back home to take care of the sheep and and David asked them now what have I done in verse 29 what have I done David asked can't I ask a question when his brothers told him that he should be at home and so David tried and he eventually got the attention of King Saul in verse 37 David goes on to say the Lord has saved me from lions and bears. He will save me from this Philistine. And so Saul saw that um, uh, David was really confident and it's because his strength was coming from God and Saul told him, go and may the Lord be with you. And so he removed his armor, the armor they wear when they are going to war and he gave David to wear. But David said no, it was, he was not used to that. So he took his shepherd's stick and then picked up five smooth pet stones from the stream and put them in his bag. Oh, and 
he he took a good look of him and ridiculed him and told him that he will kill him and he will feed him to the birds in verse 45 david answered you are coming against me with sword and spear and javelin but i come against you in the name of the lord god almighty this very day the lord will put you in my power i will defeat you and cut off your head those were the words that david told goliath and when goliath started walking against david david took his sling and with a single stone he threw on to goliath's head and his scalp the bible says that it hit him on the forehead Remember, this is the forehead that, that had a helmet. It hit him on the forehead and broke his skull. And Goliath fell face downwards on the ground. So boys and girls, David, with a single stone and a sling, killed Goliath, the strongest of men in the Philistines army. Do you think that David was so strong to kill Goliath? No. David's strength came from the Lord. And it we are very we are shown very well. He has said it in, in verse 45. He said, You are coming against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. So what killed Goliath? Is actually not the stone in this in the swing. It is the it is the faith and the trust that David had that his strength and help came from the Lord. In your daily today lives, boys and girls, there are many struggles, then challenges that we are going through. We can equate to the Goliath that we have read in the Bible. And they are, they are there when you're small, as you're growing, even when you are you become an adult, the challenges we are there. So how do you face these challenges? You face these challenges by the faith that you have in God and knowing that your trust comes from God. Some of the Goliaths maybe you have in your this season could be lying, being disobedient, Taking that something that does not belong to you, telling lies, all those are Goliaths that you can slay with your faith and trust that you have in God and you, you achieve that through prayer. I, I hope you have been blessed and I hope as you, as you move on with your life, you will realize that your strength and help comes from the faith and trust that you have in God. I hope that you have enjoyed the lesson and you have learned something. And moving on with your life, you will learn to put your faith and your trust in God. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed our Sunday school lesson for today and I know you can remember what the lesson was all about. Yes, the lesson was about David and Goliath and how David fought Goliath. And our, our craft for today is going to help us to remind us about the lesson that we have learned. David took five smooth stones and he hit and he took one stone and he put it in his slingshot and rolled it, took it round and round and round and he released it and it hit Goliath. Do you know where Goliath was hit? Yes, he was hit on his, right, on his forehead. And so today I'm going to try and make a sling. I know some of you can make a better one than myself. But before then, I want us to look to read the memory verse for today. And our memory verse comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 28 and verses 7. Psalms 28 and verses 7. And this is what the Lord, this is what the, the word of God says. 
The Lord is my strength and my shield. The Lord is my strength and my shield. God gave David the strength to, to fight Goliath. The Lord is my strength and my shield. And so, what we are going to do today, I have my usuals. Today I have, um, I have bread, I have glue, I have my markers here, I have a pair of scissors, I have different kinds of paper, I have some manila here, and I have, um, and, uh, I have paper, and, and I have some popsicle sticks. These sticks are, um, you, they are, you buy ice cream. When you buy ice cream, this is where uh, they, are, they are used for making ice cream. They are called popsicle sticks. But boys and girls, you don't have to use these kind of sticks if you don't have at home. Because we, we do crafts with the things that are available at home. So you can use other, you can use some small smooth sticks. Tell, ask your parent or your guardian to help you look for a smooth, small, sm uh, smooth sticks that you can use. So you don't have to use the popsicle sticks because again, you have to go and buy and you cannot buy one, but you can use um, any other stick. You can use any sticks from outside. When you go outside, you can get uh, those sticks. So today I'm going to show you how to make a, a sling and you can do a better one than myself. And so what you do, you take your piece of paper. Here is my piece of paper. This is my piece of paper. And I'm going to take three of these popsicle sticks. Three of them. One, two, and three. I have my three popsicle sticks. And um, I'm going to make... Um, you make a Y, letter Y. You make letter Y with your popsicle, with your sticks. You make a letter Y. There you go. Now this is my letter Y. Okay? And then I have my yarn. I have my yarn here. And um, what you will do, you will take one of your stick and put this yarn around it okay i want to make a sling these are the slings that we used i used to see when i was growing up these are the ones that boys of my time used to do they used to make these ones so i'm i'm just um trying to make one that will help me remember how god was with david even as he fought he fought the big giant Goliath. Even as he fought Goliath, he just used five stones. He just used, he took, he looked for five smooth stones. Yeah, so you put it, you you have that, okay? And this one is a bit big, so we just cut it. Wow, my scissors are blunt. Okay. So you have, you tie it there. Okay. And then you take the other one. Okay. And you do the same. You just do, you just um, move, you just go around this way. Okay. Just go around this way and you make a knot. You make a knot here like this. Yeah. Make it firm. And you also make another knot. You can make, you can, um, it can go around as many times as you wish. So, now, this is the way it's going to look like. This is the way it's going to look like. Okay, then you place it on your piece of paper. Remember I said we are making a letter Y. 
we're making letter Y. So you place it on your piece of paper. You place it on your piece of paper with this, with the yarn hanging. You don't uh, make it so tight. Don't pull it so far. You just make sure that this yarn here is hanging. So you put it nicely and then you stick them together. You make sure that the yarn is hanging and you, you stick them together. Whichever glue that you're going to use, whether preet, whether um, um, the, other, the office glue, any glue is okay. So you stick this, this one here, you stick it on the piece of paper. Now, I want to show you that you stick it that way. Okay, this edge here because this one is longer. There's some pep, pep, uh, there are some popsicle uh, sticks that are shorter. Okay, and then you take the other one also, and you stick it too. Okay. So what are you making? You're making a sling that David used. The one, it's just like the one David used. Okay, well, not, not he, he didn't use this one quite, but yeah, it reminds me of, it reminds me of um, David and how God was with David and how God helped David to, to overcome that giant. How God was with David even as he fought that giant. And so you stick the sticks together. And I want this yarn because I want it to be inside there so that it looks neat. Okay. So you stick, you make sure that um, the... There you go. There, there you go. And so, you at the end of the day, you will have your sling there. Yeah? You'll have your sling there. And then, you're going to draw, how many stones? Five smooth stones. So, you'll draw five smooth stones randomly. Um, you draw five smooth stones. Five smooth stones. You can use color brown. I was looking for a color brown. I don't know whether they were the same size. I don't think they were the same size. They were just some five smooth stones. So one, two, three, three, four, four, and five. Five smooth stones. David got five smooth stones. So you draw, you, you can use um, um, your color brown or you can, use, you can use your pencil. And then you write the memory verse. You write the memory verse, you look, you, you see this. So what you do, you can see my five stones. So you look for a place where it's not so... Uh, there's some space and you write some 50, some 28, some 28 and verses 7, some 28 and verse 7. And you can write the Lord, the Lord is my strength is my strength the lord is my strength and my shield and my shield will come here the lord is my strength and my shield so you can write your memory verse on your paper the lord is my strength and my shield that is one that you can do you can make a sling and by the way 
your parents can also help you make a real sling using um using sticks outside that you need to to just um put some you don't use yarn but uh you use some rubber so that once you put the stone once you put the stone once you put uh the stone and you pull the rubber and then you release the rubber the stone just uh, the stone goes but remember don't try that at home because you can hurt your small brothers or you can hurt your small sister number two you can use uh, we're going to write the memory verse again you can do this one you take a piece of paper you take a, a piece of paper and you fold it this way you fold the piece of paper into two you fold the piece of paper into two let me do this so that it doesn't dry take a piece of paper and fold it into two once you fold it um, get one a stick again you can use a stick um, and you stick it on the piece of paper you stick it on the piece of paper so again i use glue let me use this one I use my glue, so I glue on top here. I glue there, David, um, David Fort Goliath. And when we face giants in our uh, in our lives, um, God is always with us to help us out. And you put it that way, okay? And you write the memory verse. You write the memory verse. Um, you, again, you write Psalm, Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength and my shield. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Now, boys and girls, it's important always whenever you do a, a make it look nice make make it look interesting so that it will remind you of that day's um lesson the lord is my strength and my shield um you don't have to like do um, what what i have done quite but you can make yours better than mine by far because you are the you, you you guys you color so well you know the colors you know how to 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 decorate your papers you have the creativity god has blessed you with a lot of creativity so i want you to i want your paper to look better than mine by far and there you go and by the way you can put uh, another you can put as as a, a, a string here and you hang your memory verse psalms 28 verse 7 the lord is my strength and my shield so boys and girls god is your strength and he is your shield when we are faced by many storms in our lives god gives us the strength god gives us um the ability even to sail through the storms like we are facing right now with the COVID-19. We don't know when schools will open, but we are trusting and we are putting our hope in God. So God bless you. Continue praying for this nation. Continue praying for your parents. Pray even for your friends who are in school and also those who are in church. We love you so much. We can't wait to be in class again. We can't wait to be in class again and continue with these crafts. So God bless you. And even remember, boys and girls, as you work on whatever it is, whichever you choose, whichever activity you choose, either this one or making a sling, as you write, remember that God is your strength. God is your strength. God will give you strength. So God bless you and thank you so much 
for watching um, this session, for watching this lesson. May God be with you. May God lead you. May God guide you. I wish you well. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our Sunday School lesson. Bye.